Good morning, Gagayong Kabsat. Name Bag Nga Aldao Yo. This is Ilocano Gardener, and I'm holding something very cool, something that I did today that I've never done before. It's uh, despurring a rooster using pliers, and um, it was super easy. It took two minutes to do our little rooster. Yan Gagayem. I have um, a rooster spur here, and I have a couple. Here's the other one. It bled a little bit, but not too much. There you go. I have two big ones from my little rooster. I think it's like a bantam breed. It's a stray rooster that ended up in my property and we couldn't find the owner, so we kept it. And um, this is a year and a half now that we've had it and I had to tease for him. And I did a new trick, which is just using a pliers. I'll show you later. But anyway, Gagayam, my hands really <laughs> dusty with cornstarch. Yen. Because when the rooster bled, so you can see just a little bit, just a drop or two of um, bleeding, but not as much as if we had to um, saw it off, which my dad did last year and that traumatized me. So I wanted to try this new method that I saw on YouTube. Thank you, YouTubers. And all I needed was a plier and cornstarch to um to stop the bleeding we needed the cornstarch and then um just a uh, pliers i was gonna cut using this just in case it didn't work but then i was like okay let me try using a plier first so this is um a dog nail cutter and i was going to just cut off using that like cut off right here but then um i was like okay that's a lot of bleeding i saw my dad do it like to the big rooster and i didn't like that so i tried this new method and it really worked just using this plier let me show you um what we did okay hello gagayam <laughs> we have little t over here <laughs> he's so small yeah. we're going to despur him because look at this it's very big oh my god yeah and it's i think like when he walks it's st starting to like get in his way so let's take a look at that again wow there you go it's very big so we're going to this despur him okay they say like turn him this way they say that i have to like Grab here. Yeah, and twist. Okay. I don't think it's grabbing. There you go. You feel it? Yeah, it's loose. Oh, there you go. There you go, Gagayam. It's off. And we're gonna put cornstarch. That's so much easier than Papa's method, which is sewing it off. That's it, that's it. was really easy. I don't think it was hurt. There you go. Should stop bleeding. That's cool. And then. You want me to try? Yeah. The trick is to just grab uh, the base. There you go. Popped up right away. That took us two minutes to do. Let's put him back, please. Oh, I wanted to show you guys 
Are they hard? The spurs, yeah. Oh, wow. Like you'll hear a little crack. It goes crack, and then it just kind of you Comes can out. feel it like um like yeah, loosen. See how small it is now? Yeah. I saw it on YouTube, Gagayam. Look at it. <laughs> YouTube. It's so big. It's like how many inches is that? Like a an inch, more than an inch. Mm -hmm. We can save these. Yeah. Cool stuff, Gagayam. Thanks for watching. Here's our little rooster now. He's probably, he probably hurts a little bit. But um, they said that it's important to be spurred the roosters because if you don't do it, their spur grow into their skin. <coughs> Are you okay? Very nice. He's holding his feet up a little bit. I hope you're okay. There's something stuck on his spur right there. It's bleeding a little bit. There's a rooster now. Minimal <coughs> bleeding, as you can see. It's probably a little sensitive, so see, he's like holding it up a little bit. And he's used to walking around with like really big spurs, so he's kind of walking a little weird. Like he's holding up his leg. <coughs> so I imagine it's a little sensitive. Okay friends, this is the rooster Big T and his spur is also really long and I would not dare try to de-spur him because he's so big. I'm gonna wait for my dad. There he is. This is uh, Big T. This is my original Red Island, uh, Rhode Island Red, Rhode Island Red rooster that's very aggressive. Um, he will chase you if you get close to him. And my dad despurred him once using a saw. And it's grown back. And I'm very scared to do it myself. So the problem is catching him. Catching little T was really easy, so it was not a problem. Because little T is shy and he will shy away. As um, compared to this one, he will chase you. So, yeah, there it is. There's little T. There's something stuck on his spur now. He's walking around alright, but... I think it's still sensitive. I'll check tomorrow if he's okay. I hope so. This is the first time we're doing it, so... Yep. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thank you. Yaman at ipinagbuhayo. Napadasan nyo atin. Have you tried despraying your chicken like this before? Um, if so, leave me a comment um, and let me know how it went for you. Thanks for watching. Kakapsad kagayam. Poor, poor. Gonna get the lechon here soon. <laughs> the rooster. <laughs> lechon na manok. A little windy today. Signaling. Too much poor. The neighbors are gonna call 911. Emergency. Kalala, Philippines. 
burning trash. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, go get your kakad set. Thanks for watching um, our rooster despurring video. But I want to make a disclaimer that this is not a how-to video, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's how I'm doing it a video, and um, I just wanted to make that clear because I don't know if I'll do it again. I mean, I'm kind of glad that I probably don't have to do it again for like a year or two, um. <clears throat> because um you know i'm i'm sure it hurts them a little bit you know even though it's not scream even though the rooster wasn't screaming or anything like that it bled a little bit um so next time i just wanted to try this method because most people recommend it and um <clears throat> perhaps next time i'll try a different method i'll probably use a dremel tool um, the same one that I use for my dogs um, because uh, you know it's probably more humane I don't know <laughs> but anyway that's how I despurred my little rooster and um, let me know in the comments what you think about this method do you despur your um, rooster this way how do you do it let me know in the comments thanks again for watching Oh, and also that video that Bossing took of me making fire <laughs> today was um it was me trying to get rid of a lot of the um palm tree uh leaves and branches that fell off. Like I'm not sure what they're called, but it's the um it's the branch that holds a lot of the fruits. It's very like it's there's a lot of it and since it was really windy today or windy this month and last month there's like tons of it in my yard so i wanted to get rid of it and i need ash for my chickens because i plan on making a um, dust bath for them so i needed the ash that's why i started burning today <laughs> anyway go get the upset look forward to that video of me making a dust bath for my chickens thanks for watching again see you in the next one